off. I usually push it down a few times. Then I usually push this in here in between the seat and usually moves the seat up. down as far as you can go and then just loosen it off and then tighten the bag up this is I'm done now so I can take that off, but this is homemade brake. I got a brake kit. I'll show you in a second. But this is just a hole through the top. Put the, the, the holes through, and then put a little vent hole. And you just uh, fill it up in there. Pretty simple. But these screws uh, came out pretty good, except for the rear. The rear didn't come out very good, so I gotta get new one. But that's how easy it is now. If you got somebody to help you, uh, just come down to your bleeder screw and tell them to pump it and then hold it to the floor, and then you loosen the bleeder screw. And then when the fluid stops coming out, you tighten it up, and then you tell them to do the same thing again. But when they push it to the floor, they have to hold it. All right. And when there's no air in the lines, you're okay to go. Make sure you check. And top it up. Always be checking. Because when you bleed your brakes, you don't want it to bleed down and get hair in the... Uh, the ABS, but uh, you always want to keep it full. Okay, so I've made a few videos in, in one day, so <laughs> um, I'm in the same get up. But that's how easy it is to bleed. But, you know, I'm not going to say that's how easy it is, but that's how easy it can be. If you can get your um, your bleeder screws loosened, um, then you should have no problems whatsoever. It's just a matter, like I showed you, just you know, hook up your containment system. You, if you want the brake, I forgot to show you the little pump brake uh, bleeder kit. Uh, but what I use, I usually just use because uh, when I bought that kit, it don't come with a fitting quite tight enough so I just use the uh, bottle with a vent in it like I said and uh, that's usually what I use um, now the bleeding kit the bleeder kit is better for one person because you can if it's airtight and you got the proper fittings you just pump it up and then you can go in or you can loosen it off and it was sucker you don't need nobody to push in on the pedal so if you can get your bleeder screws out no problem then uh, it's easy peasy uh, don't over tighten them uh, i know you know it's your brakes and people kind of you want it tight but uh, don't over tighten them uh, that's it put new find out what your car takes by you know for uh, new bleeder, uh, new bleeder screws. I uh, replace them because they're cheap. If you can get them out, they're going to be rusted because you don't you don't do this every you know every month or every year. So replace them. You're good to go. Thanks, guys. Hey, YouTube family, hit that subscribe button because not only does it keep you in the loop, it also lets the YouTube algorithm know what that you like this sort of thing. Also, it helps the uh, YouTube algorithm push this video out to more and more wonderful, beautiful people just like you.